Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am doing something a little bit different today. I'm making a Call of Duty rant. So I just want to make this fucking rant today because I am pissed off. So I play a lot of of Warzone because it you know it's a pretty fun game. You no, know, it's Call of Duty, but a new battle royale. What could go wrong? So this game, you know, I like it. I also own Cold War and and Modern Warfare 2019. I plan to pre-order the new MW2 because I'm just having a fucking blast in Call of Duty right now. M fucking m now, keep in mind, I'm not having fun with Cold War. Not Cold War. I'm not having fun with fucking Warzone and Modern Warfare right now because it just there is something so wrong about the game that I will go on into further detail. Now, keep in mind that this problem is non-fucking existent in Vanguard and Cold War. And I don't know if it's going to be existent in the new Modern Warfare 2, which could definitely make a fucking result in whether I pre-ordered this game or not. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the fucking rise in cheating in fucking Modern Warfare and Warzone has gone up exponentially in the past four days. So I'm not going to say who or who makes these cheats, but there is a cheat. I'm not going to say what it is, but previously they sold cheats for really cheap. Like I'm talking fucking like 20 bucks for 90 days. That's a fucking steal if you want to buy cheats. And that even that was causing the game to fall apart. You know, there was there was, at from my calculations, there's a fucking hacker on every three teams in this fucking game. You know, whether it's someone beaming you out of the sky or just having aim that's too good to be human, they made a free version of their cheat that is purely wall hacks for anybody to download and play with. And you know what? The best part about it, it's unfucking detected. Yes, you heard me right. There is a free wall hack cheat for Warzone that is undetected by Ricochet. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? You would think this is a fucking indie game with how bad their anti-cheat is. I mean, like, what the fuck? Who? What the fuck is Ricochet? What other games have they worked on? Like, I'm generally fucking curious. I've never heard the name Ricochet on any other game besides fucking, fucking Modern Warfare. I'm, I, I really don't think it's an anti-cheat on any other games. And it's just a horrible anti-cheat. Like, what? They fucking, they applied it and what? It worked for, like, what? Fucking three days? Before people figured out how to fucking bypass that shit. I mean, it will still ban people, but I literally know people who fucking rage hack in this game and who have been on the same account for nine months and haven't been banned. If you don't know what rage hacking is, it's using your cheats, like fucking obviously, linking your cheats, you know, basically like dropping 30, 40 fucking kills a game. You know, like wall hacking left and right and shit, fucking it, aimbotting people, like just making it obvious that you're hacking and people are not getting banned. Now, what is some reason people might think, okay, this game's a bit unfair? People, you know, don't like the game for the blueprints or tracers, and that's not the worst part. I mean, yeah, it's fucking annoying that people can just pay to get better versions of the guns, but it, but at the end, of the, at the end of the day, if you grind hard enough, you can beat anybody well not necessarily beat anyone you know people still are at a at a advantage with fucking blueprints and tracers but you you can still kill them i mean i really don't bother to spend money on this game because people who buy tracers and shit you gotta have skill at the end of the day to be able to use your gun it doesn't matter if you hand somebody who's never played call of duty to a consistent level if you hand them a fucking cracked out fucking godzilla gun they're not going to be able to get kills against somebody who has a basic ass submachine gun and who has been playing the game every day for three years. That, to me, isn't really a concern because if people want to pay, you know, okay, fine. It's just the fucking obvious hacking problem. Like, even before, the cheats were super cheap and, you know, it's, you know anyone could buy them. It, that wasn't a problem in previous Call of Duties because fucking Black Ops 3, easy anti-cheat. Black Ops 4, easy anti-cheat. And other Call of Duties had fucking good-ass anti-cheats. I mean, if you look at, at fucking easy anti-cheat, I mean, what games do that anti-cheat? Fortnite, Apex Legends. And do you see people hacking in that game? Once every blue fucking moon. And if somebody hacks, they're usually banned in 30 or 40 minutes. You don't see people hacking on their main account. But you can do that in Warzone. You can hack on your main account. And in most cases, you won't get fucking banned. I mean, it is just so bad. And not to mention, 
it, I'm literally quitting this fucking game. That's really what this whole video is all about. I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm not quitting COD. You know, I still love this game to death. It's just fucking... I'm quitting Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone. I'm primarily just going to play Cold War now. Because I, I just can't fucking do this anymore. The hacking issue is so bad. I was literally running fucking Dead Silent and fucking... I don't know the name of the other perk, but like it's Dead Silent and fucking ghost, you know, like my friend got me set up with it, it makes you invisible to UAVs and combo scout, which is basically, like, if you don't know what perks from combo scout is, it basically makes you invisible, well, not necessarily invisible, but, like, if you shoot somebody with combo scout, it will, it will reveal, it will fucking hell, it will reveal their, you know, oh my fucking god, <laughs> if you have combo scout and, and you shoot somebody and you hit them, it will reveal their location, basically like wall hacks, but it will only reveal it for like, what, like four seconds? It'll give you a general idea of where they're at. I have that a perk with cold-blooded. I think that's what it is. Cold-blooded makes you immune to that, and it makes you undetected by UAV, and I also run dead silent a good amount of the time. So, actually, no, I, I'm not that good at this game. I don't really know the perks, but like basically I have it set up to where you can't be detected by UAVs and things like that. Because my friend got me, you know, he got, I got me, I don't really pay attention to this game. All I know is, you know, I know a good amount of stuff. I'm not that familiar with perks. But I have it set up to where you cannot be tracked by the heart sensors or UAVs. And people know where I am every single fucking time. So today, I was at the edge of the map trying to snipe somebody. And I have this kid flanking me from the back like he knew where I, where I was at. Exactly. Like we were in a fucking gunfight. And he just knew exactly where I was. And that's not too fishy. But the main thing is, is all day to day, I have seen people playing too goddamn cocky. I mean, the human fucking mind is not a completely perfect. You are not able to make the fucking right move 100% of the time. And the kids I were spectating today, they were able to do that. They, it's like they knew exactly where everybody was. They were making the fucking best possible moves imaginable. Like, you think they would fuck up once, but no, they weren't. And I, this was super fucking suspicious to me, because, like, the hacker problem in fucking Warzone is, like, it's on-off, on-off. Fucking, they'll, bat, they'll fully patch one sheet and make it ineffective, and then another cheat will come out that doesn't get patched for, like, three fucking months, and then the cycle continues. So I did a bit of research today. Me and my friend wanted to see if there was another cheat going around. <laughs> oh, you bet your sweet fucking ass there was oh my god i'm so fucking hurt. i almost lost my voice quick i've made this video like three times and i fucked it all up so i'm kind of losing my voice a little bit here but oh you bet your sweet motherfucking ass there was another cheat that was spreading around like wildfire that can unlock everything in the game every overpowered blueprint every tracer every fucking camo in the game you could ever want can be unlocked by paying a fucking small price of fucking $20 a month for 90 days. Oh, you bet your sweet fucking vagina testicular your ass that fucking everyone or their goddamn gay grandmother who has no fucking life is going to be buying those cheats. And not to mention, like I was going over with before, that same company has a free cheat that is just ESP. And I am fucking convinced that almost everybody is running them now because it's like... Literally a day and night difference between yesterday and today. Like, yesterday, you know, if you get killed by someone good, they'll make the right play, like, what, 70% of the time? Not everybody's perfect. And not to, and to top that off, their movement was fucking great. You know, like, I'm, I'm not that good at this game, I will say that. I only play this game casually, I'm not that good at video games. But, like, you know, I can respect the people that put in the hours to get good at this game. I don't have a problem with getting killed by somebody better than me. But I have a problem with getting killed by somebody that fucking has the movement like they've never played this fucking game before and has the aim of a fucking turtle trying to play with scoliosis while being fucked by an alligator that just don't know how to play the game that know where people are. And not to mention, they have no UAVs, they, they have no goddamn perks, they have no fucking heart sensor either, and they just know where people are, with no footstep indication or anything. I saw that, like, four times today, 
when fucking playing. And, like, it's so funny because half these kids are fucking dog shit at the game. Me and my friend were camping in a building, and we had fucking four duos coming at us. We fucking destroyed them all. I found like a, I sounded like a fucking Russian there for a second. Let me clear, let me clear my throat. Okay. Okay, there, I fucking cleared it. But, like, we were camping out in a building, and we had four squads coming to us. Now, not squads, four duos. Now, keep in mind, there is nothing near us that would attract anything. There was no loadout drop. There was no bounties. We had nothing on us. We were just staying in the same spot. But time and time again, we heard people parachuting outside, and it's not like they scouted out the building. They came right up to where we were. Now, keep in mind, we weren't visible from outside. We were at that building around like the edge of the map that has like a place that separates you from the top of the roof to the thing right there so i don't know if you saw but in the video that's a perfect example that's like where we were we were in that thing that separates you from that and we had multiple people land on top of that and open it and keep in mind they were pre-aiming us too so that's just super fucking fishy because that's never happened before like sure you'll have somebody land there and come in and they might be able to knock one of us but uh, but if it's just one person we usually you know uh, um you know one of us might get knocked but i mean no like it is literally just fucking blatant wall hacks at this point i'm really convinced that a lot of people are running these because the play styles that i saw yesterday and today were so different now keep in mind People's movements were just so fucking bot-like today. Now, am I being a little bit salty? Probably not, because I still played pretty good. And, you know, I still I won, like, three games today. Now, these fucking little small wall hacks, you know, they aren't making people win. But it's just fucking annoying when, when people know where you are. I mean, like, it's just fucking horse shit that people are buying these cheats. And not to mention, I mean, like... You can tell, like, the website is fucking booming right now that is selling the cheats. Like, I literally, I was like, you gotta be fucking me. I checked the website in an hour. There were over 10,000 comments on people asking, you know, things about the cheat. 10,000. So that means that in the spam of one hour, at least 10,000 people in the United States downloaded the cheats. Now, keep in mind, that's probably more. That was only the people that were commenting asking questions about the cheat so that means we could have potentially had a hundred thousand people or more download the free wall hacks today i mean it's just fucking horseshit because like, you gotta have an anti-cheat this is one of the most played games and one of the most competitive games at fucking esports right now you're telling me there's no anti-cheat i mean fuck i despise vanguard anti-cheat but at least that fucking prevents hackers to a really good extent i'm not a fan of kernel level anti-cheats but shit they fucking work clearly vanguard is just so dog shit i'd rather have fucking vac so, yeah you heard me right i'd rather have steam vac as the anti-cheat I, I really would steam vac you know will detect a hack once in a while but fucking vanguard is just so shitty it can't detect anything I mean, like, it's just, like, fucking hell, like, Warzone has just not become fun, because, you know, like, there will be some times where I can get kills, and sometimes I'm just getting beamed out of the fucking sky. Not to mention, before the free cheats are being sold, there was, there was already a hacker problem. You know, I'm pretty sure anyone who plays Warzone and knows about the game can can most definitely say there's a fucking hacker problem going on now, especially if you're playing on computer. I mean, like, so many people are cheating left and right in lobbies. I mean, th there was a span of last month to where there was at least two hackers per lobby that were fucking rage hacking the shit out of the lobby. I mean, this game, I've, I've given it too many chances. I mean, I, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be honestly just fucking sticking the zombies in fucking multiplayer until the new fucking mw2 comes out i heard that they might fucking be redoing fucking warzone for fucking the mw2 engine and i just hope it has a good anti cheat because i like playing warzone but i just can't stand all the hackers right now and now that the fact you have a free walls hack a fucking cheat a fucking free walls cheat right now it just makes the game unplayable if you're not hacking like i've literally have considered I would never download cheats, but, like, it's literally getting so bad 
to where like people on fucking Reddit are saying you literally have to download the cheats because ninety percent, well not ninety, that's way over exaggerated, like forty percent of people have the cheats downloaded at this point. I mean, it's just fucking horrible because like you can clearly tell that people are wall hacking. They have no UAVs. They have nothing that would fucking indicate. They can spot. They, 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 they don't have combat scout. They don't have any fucking hard sensors. They don't have any UAVs. There's nothing in their damn inventory that can help them see people. I mean, like, at least if they have a UAV, you can get someone's general location. But even if you have a UAV, you don't know to pinpoint accuracy where they're at. Even with combat scout, like, you choose, like you'll shoot one, they'll be highlighted in red for like, what, three seconds? So they'll also ping your enemy team where the people are at, and then they're gone. You can't tell where they go from there. You just get a general idea of where they're at, you know, which is perfectly balanced because someone can do it to you too. And not to mention that there was a counter for the cheat, but a not, but you know, it's not really worth countering because, like, what? What are you sacrificing? Like, you're sacrificing either, I don't know what you're sacrificing, but you're sacrificing something else that a lot of people don't recommend sacrificing. So not a lot of people even counter it, but I mean, like. The amount of blatant fucking wall hacking in this game is just honestly just going to fucking shit at this point. I mean, I love playing this game, but it's just time to fucking take a break until they fix their anti-cheat. I mean, please, for the love of fuck, please, just use fucking Battle Eye, easy anti-cheat, something that actually fucking works. I mean, this anti-cheat is just so bad. I mean, it just makes the game, it's just like not even fun anymore because everybody's hacking. You know, like, I don't ever accuse people of hacking unless there's fucking solid evidence. But, yeah, and you might ask me, oh, what's your solid evidence? You're really just salty and your people are better than you. I understand people are better than me, but, like, when you see somebody that doesn't have any perk or anything in their inventory that can see where people's footsteps are, you know, it's, you fucking, you fucking know they're hacking. Like, like a professional player can tell when people are using walls and shit because they're too confident in their movement. And they seem to make the perfect play 100% of the time. There's like no error in their plays. And that's fucking impossible. There is no human on this goddamn world that can do everything 100% correct and everything right all the time. It's just not possible. The human mind and human body is not designed to fucking do everything with 100% accuracy. That's just not how our fucking species works. I mean, it's just fucking, these cheats are horrible. I mean, I honestly fucking hate these companies that are selling these cheats. I just want to remind you, if you're downloading cheats for a fucking free-to-play game, you are a fucking, you are a fucking bum. You are a fucking loser. You will never get any pussy in your life whatsoever. Go outside, fucking touch a dumbbell, fucking go hit some fucking bench presses and shit. You are a fat, sorry motherfucker who has nothing better to do with their time to fucking cheat in a game and fucking ruin it for others. Thank you and, and have a good day.